Konigsberg problem is arguably one of the most famous problems in graph theory, and rightfully so. This problem was the reason graph theory was born. Bernard Euler, the founder of graph theory, once looked at the city of Konigsberg and wondered if it was possible to cross every one of the bridges in the city just once. To do this, he separated the four parts of the city split by the river into four nodes. He then took each one of the seven bridges and created the edges that connected the nodes, turning it into the world's first graph structure that looked like this. If we remove the river, we can see the problem a bit clearer. Now we can trace our path that uses each edge only once, and this is called an Euler path. However, no matter how we draw our graph, we will always be missing one edge. Feel free to pause the video and see if you can find an Euler path you will quickly find that there isn't one. Let's compare graphs that don't have an Euler path to graphs that do. Can you spot a pattern between them? You may initially think it has to do with the number of nodes, but as you can see, both sides have the same numbers. Next, you may guess it's the number of edges, but both sides have a mixture of odd and even edges. What about the ratio of edges to nodes? That also doesn't appear to have a correlation either. So how about if we colour all our nodes touching an odd amount of edges in red? It's clear that all our graphs with an Euler path have just two nodes with odd edges and no more. In fact, the official rule is that graphs with an Euler path can only have two or less nodes with odd edges. But why is that the case? If we take a graph with all even edges, it doesn't matter where you start on that graph, there will always be a way to cross every edge just once. If we take a graph with two odd edges, we can still find a path, but only if we start and end on an odd node. Now if we have a graph with four odd nodes, we're back to the same problem as the Konigsberg graph. There will always be an edge that we can't cross. This is because we can no longer start and end on the odd nodes. Some odd nodes have to be in the middle of our path, which makes it impossible to cross every edge once. But what about graphs with just one odd node, or three? Well, these graphs can't exist. Graphs with an odd number of nodes, with odd edges, don't exist. In fact, this is a separate famous graph problem called the handshake lemma. Let us know if you'd like us to cover that in a future video of our graph series. So that concludes our video on why Bridges of Konigsberg problem has no solution. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you on the channel again soon.